Chad Wheeler came under fire after he choked his ex-girlfriend and nearly killed her, and now she's speaking out. Hi everybody, it's Devin Howard. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, you can find me there as at Devin Howard. Double check that you've subscribed to The Fumble, tap the bell for notifications, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Chad Wheeler, the former Seattle Seahawks player, is currently facing multiple charges related to the abuse and beating he reportedly gave to his ex-girlfriend, Aaliyah Taylor. We covered this when it initially happened. The offensive lineman beat his ex-girlfriend so badly that he thought he had killed her. He pleaded not guilty to charges of first-degree domestic violence assault, domestic violence unlawful imprisonment, and resisting arrest. And now, for the first time, Aaliyah is speaking out. She sat down with CBS this morning and recalled the moments after the beating had taken place. Watch the clip here. And I, I remember getting up and running to the bathroom. Chad was standing by the bed, by the doorway, and he was sipping his smoothie. And was like, wow, you're, you're still alive. That's what he said to you. I'm grateful he didn't grab me in that moment. I was able to run to the bathroom. If you guys remember, Chad was sent into a rage when Aaliyah refused to bow down to him. He strangled her until she fell unconscious, dislocating her shoulder in the process. Multiple officers showed up to their Seattle apartment and had to use a taser to subdue the football player and get him in handcuffs. Chad took to Twitter to explain the situation and claimed he was in the middle of a manic episode. He's been diagnosed with bipolar personality disorder, which caused him to go off the deep end when he was with his girlfriend. He said that he is deeply sorry for the pain and suffering he caused his ex-girlfriend. This is such a terrifying incident for Aaliyah. She's going to be traumatized for the rest of her life. And now all that she can hope is that he does serve some jail time. I'm actually surprised he isn't being charged with attempted murder. He obviously thought he had killed her in that moment and then went on to just casually eat his dinner. Fumble fam, what is your reaction to this news? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell. I'm Devin Howard for the Fumble and I'll see you later.